I think there's maybe still some myth-busting, I guess, to be done around um, gender lens investing, I think both in Vietnam as well as Southeast Asia. I think, you know, there's still maybe a preconception that it's just about funding female entrepreneurs, um, whereas actually it's, it's more than that. And I think even if you are focused on funding female entrepreneurs, uh, you know, it's, it's not just about pointing money and counting the number of female entrepreneurs you've invested in, right? But I think about a much deeper understanding of how do you actually um, contribute to women's economic empowerment right through these models. From our own experience, investing in women does see plenty of untapped potential in the market trends for investments in women's SMEs or investments that support women in the workplace or as consumers. We're optimistic about the future for gender lens investing as we look back at our work with investors in recent years. As investing in women looks to evolve our own approach to catalyzing change in the impact investing market, we have been shifting to a more local approach. So over the past year, we've established new partnerships with local partners, angel investors and local funds managers based in our target countries. And we all recognize here in the room that we face a significant risk that COVID-19 could unlock, uh, can undo many of these gains and worsen the existing gender inequalities around the world. We know that the national emergency response and post-COVID recovery measures need to embed gender equality at their core, and that's not really happening. For example, we have an opportunity to integrate gender lens in the huge financing packages by government and leading organizations such as World Bank Group and ADB, who can mandate investments into, MSM, into women-led MSMEs in the region. Your impact investment could be um, quite promising here in Vietnam because of the priorities of the government really put uh, uh, SDGs and, and startup, tech-based tech startup as a, uh, in the agenda. Uh, and um, just to just inform in marketing a little bit is by the uh, by mid of 20, uh, 2021 next year, um, uh, with the Ministry of uh, Science Technology, uh, we are organizing the uh, Vietnam uh, Impact Investment uh, Forum uh, 2021. So we really love, you know, uh, it's 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 really a forum uh, for 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 impact uh, startup here in Vietnam to expose to international um, yeah, impact investors. Um, but I think the the important thing to do now is to raise awareness um, of this field to other uh, ministries that are sort of in charge of very very important policy tools to attract um, impact uh, in, investors uh, into Vietnam. So. Uh, Ministry of Money, Investment, and Ministry of Finance, and such. Um, and, and I think the first thing is raising awareness. And that uh, has to do with um, constant and regular uh, dialogues uh, between investors uh, and, and stakeholders, um, impact stakeholders with um, the government officials. Uh, for me, I actually think it's, it's more like general kind of ease of doing business type of um, improvements that we would hope to see versus, you know, I mean, of course, there's more that can be done specifically for impact companies and impact investors, but I think just the general kind of, you know, ease of business uh, would be would be fantastic as, as kind of the first step, which, which really lifts up all boats. <laughs>